by we are telling women that their best and greatest superpower, creating another human from their own body, is less important than working as an associate law clerk. Working 2,100 billable hours checking footnotes is somehow more important than raising the next generation of human beings that you made with your own body and then bringing them up. Now, some people may choose that. Fine, again, for the 1,000th time. That's fine, do what you want, it's a free country. But if you're going to indoctrinate women to believe that happiness comes from working as an accountant, but not from spending more time with your children, there's not a single person who on their deathbed said, I wish I had done one more doc review. First of all, Mr. Shapiro, I hate to break it to you, but women do not have the power to create or make living, breathing human beings on their own. Why would you even say something like that? It's God that creates a living, breathing human beings inside of us, not ourselves. Imagine if we could just make a, you know, <laughs> Were we a factory? <laughs> it's God that chooses us to be the vehicle that brings this living, breathing human beings into the world. We don't really have any power when it comes to making children, making humans. <laughs> Who are you talking about? There's roughly almost 4 billion women around the world. Are you talking to the 5%, the wealthy, ultra wealthy 5%? Is that who you're talking about? Because they seem to be the only people that can afford to stay home with their children nowadays. The world is a different place than it used to be. Um, and your statement is misleading. Most of today's women cannot afford to stay home and just be full-time mothers. I love my independence more than anything else in the world, but you know what? I would give anything to stay at home and take care of my children and spend quality time with the people I love the most. That's not how things work nowadays. One is that most men do not take responsibility for their families anymore. The men of today are not innocent when it comes to mothers not staying home with their children or women not having as many children as they used to. Because every time women make a little bit of progress or talk about what they like and what they want, men retreat and say, well, I'll show you. You do that, then I'll take this back. That's how a lot of men operate nowadays. There's no unit working together, making the best decisions, loving and honoring one another anymore. And it's both sides. A lot of it comes from the man's side. Ever since women decided that they would wanna vote and they would wanna have a voice, the men of today have been trying to fight tooth and nail to make sure they take back every inch woman gain. And another thing, the world's becoming a very expensive place. Two income household is a necessity nowadays. And there are plenty of places in the world where men literally are just impregnators. They just get woman pregnant and disappear, move on to the next don't want to take responsibility for their, for their child. There are plenty of women who would love to just have the opportunity to take care of their families, their children, who don't have that opportunity and will never get that opportunity. That's the fact. That's a fact of life. So stop this nonsense and stop blaming women. This woman blaming has to stop. To be frank with you, it's just exhausting and it shows that men of today are just trying to be victims.